Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video and we're checking out drone microchips today. I know a lot of people get confused on these, so what we're going to do is take a look at each slot type separately. I'll make a video for each one and throw these on a playlist. You've got your A slots, your B slots, your C, your D, your F, and your AC slot. Hopefully this will help you understand what chips do what and which ones are good. So we're going to try and look at every single chip for every single slot type. All right. All right. So next we're going to look at the A slots. All right. These ones have a circular symbol and these are your effects chips. You've got your freezer, your lockdown, your defense mitigator, suppressor, control resistor, acid sprayers, and these are nice chips, all right? Only some drones use these, but we're going to go ahead and talk about the different chips and which ones you should be using. So first off, we got the freezers. Y'all know what freezers do. They, they hit the enemy. Eventually, the, the effect accumulates. The enemy gets frozen. Now that enemy is going to take an extra 20% damage. It's going to lose 40% of its speed, and that's going to be a really big help for your team to freeze it. So anybody who shoot, shoots at this guy once he's frozen is going to do 20% more damage to that enemy. So the freezer chips are actually really good. I like them a lot. Next, we have the lockdowners. All right, once the effect applies, well, you're going to lock the guy down, and he's going to be stuck. He's not going to be able to move at all for a few seconds. So the lockdowner chips are super helpful. And then we're going to check out the suppressor chips. All right. When the robot is suppressed, it's going to do 75% less damage to anybody who shoots. So, one thing though, these effects chips, certain weapons they work really good with, other weapons not so much. But any weapon that already has lockdown, suppression, or freeze, these chips work wonders on those. I mean, you might have a, a weapon with lockdown, and then you can add a suppressor or a freezer to it as well. And then it's doing two different things. I mean, these are really cool chips with the right weapons. On some weapons, though, unfortunately, it takes forever for these to kick in. So I always try to find the weapons that already have an effect on them before I add an effect chip. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead and check out the control resistor. If you're using weapons without an effect chip, you might want to use something other than one of those. Now, control resistors are nice. As you're getting shot with lockdown, freezer, or uh, suppression, right? These will make so the effect accumulates slower and you don't get locked down as fast. I also hear these really work well with uh, the EMP from the Typhon. All right, so if you're running a control resistor, sometimes you can block what the EMP from the Typhon does as well, which is really cool. So the control resistors are great chips. I think if you're not running a lockdown freeze or suppressor, you probably want to have a control resistor on there. All right, next we're going to look at the fence mitigator chips. Now, what these do is they ignore, all right, they ignore the enemy's damage resistance or whatever you want to call it. So, enemies can get, you know, hit, hit, not hit points. What am I saying here? Defense points. That's what I'm trying to say, all right? So, if the enemy has defense points, which is the same thing as the damage resistance, this will go right through it. The only thing is this only works on the drone's weapons and not the robot's weapons. So these chips are only good if your drone has a built-in weapon. So do not put on a defense mitigator unless your drone has built-in weapons or it will do absolutely nothing for you. Again, this does not work on the robot's weapons, only the drone's weapons, and only some drones have built-in weapons. Next, we have the acid sprayer, which is... You know, a thing that does adds a DOT effect to the drone's weapons. Again, this one only works on the drone's weapons, but every time the drone shoots somebody, it's going to do 120 damage every second. That's if you got a gold one. Of course, the the lower tier chips do a little less, but uh, yeah, this is a this is kind of a nice nice deal. Personally, I think it's it's a good chip if you're running drones with weapons on it, and you don't have like effects chip weapons on your bot. This one could come in kind of handy. Not something I'm going to run all the time. One of the other chips we talked about earlier would probably be better, but these have a place, all right? These have a place. The DOT effect is nice. And finally, we have the anti-acid chips. This reduces the damage received from DOT effect. So DOT or damage over time, that means when somebody hits you over the next several seconds, you're going to continue to drain your health. 
So it'll it'll continue to do damage on that person for several seconds after you've hit them. And that's a pretty cool effect. And this will make so you receive 30% less DOT. 30% for a gold chip, that's not huge, all right? Some people do run the DOT out there, but this is one of my least favorite chips, not as useful as the others. And that should be all of the current A-type chips, all right? Those have the circular ones. And we went through everyone in the game, and that's kind of what they do, of course. You got your blue, you got your purple, you got your gold, of course. The blue is the, you know, the tier two, purple tier three, uh, gold tier four. You know, the higher the tier, the better these things work. We're just going to go ahead and look at the gold chips today, but, you know, use the best tier that you guys have. So those are the chips kind of in the order of how I, what, what they do and how I like them and all that good stuff. So hopefully this one helps. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of gameplay on this. And that will pretty much wrap this one up. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And let's go do some fun gameplay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and drop my little blitz in. And let's go shred up some reds. Make these red dudes the dead dudes, right? And we got four magnums on this little guy, which is actually a lot of fun. You never run out of ammo. They're not the hardest hitting weapons in the game, but they're actually really good if you level them up enough. I do like these weapons a lot, to tell you the truth. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the action here. I wish this Ares would move. He's in the way. He's kind of pushing me. I don't like it. There's a leech and leech, so we don't want to hit that. We do want to hit whatever's over there. So that one's going down quick. Oh, purple shield. Hey. That's my kill. Where did it go? My kill, my kill, my kill, my kill. Gimme, 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 gimme. I think I healed up a lot, didn't he? Alright, we got it, we got it. Go over this way, beat up this little scorpion. These things are actually pretty darn good, right? Surprisingly, these are great little weapons. I know a lot of people underestimate some of these old, cheaper weapons, but uh, these things are great. They were inexpensive to upgrade, and then they're just all around really nice. Fortunately, I'm about to get shelled here. I think we just broke his shields. All right, I'm gonna go, go ahead and stay over here. I know he's gonna hit me with that blast. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that healing module. He knocked me off the beacon. Well, I gotta get him before he takes it. There we go. Unfortunately, someone else stole my kill. You lousy kill stealers. Actually, it's always good that it dies. I don't really care if someone else got it as long as it goes down, right? As long as it goes down, it doesn't matter. Got that other shell coming in, so we're going to try and beat him up. Oh, yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. That's good. That's good. Here comes Ravana. Our team's doing very well. So we're going to get this guy into the last stand. We'll go ahead and hit him with the suppression. I think his shield might have blocked it. All right, we got it. We got it. My little blitz is running funny. It's all beat up. Oh, here comes a scorpion. Got a purple shield. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got me. I'm going to go ahead and come on in here with my behemoth. Oh, it didn't drop me inside. I was planning on just whomping on that guy's face. He was going to be sorry he was ever born. Come on around. Nope. Four redeemers, guys. This is like the ultimate destruction right here. Wow. I'm gonna come inside here and get this. Alright, come on, wear off, wear off. He, he's oh man. He got away. He got away. Come on out, little guy. Come on out. We are ready to rock and roll. Yes. Purple shields. Everyone's got the purple shields. 
I'm telling you, this thing is a beast right here. This thing is a beast. You ever hear talk about people going into beast mode? Well, I think they were referring to this guy. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage to the Arthur. Oh, we're out of ammo. Well, let's do it. Let me go ahead and use my healing module. He's actually running away. Let's go and try and get this Fenrir. So we got to wait till reload. That's not cool. Where are my cloak units? Cloaking units, come on. Why is he not really, he's really not taking much damage, is he? That is a, that dude's tough. All right, let's come on in here with our Fenrir. We gotta go get the beacon inside. Go ahead and burn, come on, dude. Move it, move it, move it. Let me through. There's titans everywhere. I don't know where that fin. Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go. It's stuck on the building. Okay. Get rid of whatever this is. We don't like it. We're just gonna go ahead and burn it on up. Get it, get it, get it. Those titans are tough, guys. Those titans are tough. Here comes that Fenrir back. He wants a little bit of my flamethrowers. See, you would like my flamethrowers, would you? I'm just gonna walk in circles. I got some help over here, which is nice. Let's keep shooting this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I wasn't expecting that. All right, Nightingale to the rescue, right? Probably should have brought out the old Sharinga, but uh, I think we need some rockets into the center here. Oh, he healed up like crazy, didn't he? I gotta get this little guy. Yeah. Taking our beacon back. And we won, sweet. So anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed that little uh tutorial and the gameplay and all that good stuff and that'll pretty much be it for this one thanks for watching you guys have an awesome day and we will catch y'all later all right see ya